race planned out with my boss and his 911 turbo, which is a 911 911.1 turbo versus my Red Sport. So that's going to be for sure interesting, what you guys saw in the clip before. Um, in my head, I think it's going to be close, but we'll see. I'm going to see if I can turn this up a little bit, kind of make it like really, really close. But we're going to do a launch, or not a launch, but we're going to do a roll and then a dig. And from there, we'll go on. But kind of kind of cold outside and I'm in I'm in a short sleeve. Yikes. So I know last video I didn't really have like a like a POV of the cabin because dude I'm not gonna lie with you that camera does not have like a wide angle lens and I was thinking like you know you pay that price and that's it's gonna you know zoom out all the way. I was wrong so we have an alternate way to record the POV. I know it's like what a lot of people want to see, so I was like, all right, you know, I gotta figure something out. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit for the race, cause you know we got to, we got to, cause this race map is like it's quick, but it ain't quick enough for him. You know, not nah, putting a supercar against the Red Sport, it's crazy. But we'll do a little test pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna launch at 325 with brake boost. It's pretty solid. Uh, keep this guy's plate. We about oh, to get that like raise. We about to get that raise. Matthew, who you got money on, bro? Uh, us. That's what I'm saying. Like, come on. Put that. Put that in Sport Plus. Bro, bro we got all the cameras. Holy. <laughs> we got three fucking cameras. All right, bro. We're on race mode. Holy. Wait, is this the max effort? Is this the new tune? It's the new tune. <laughs> Gotta find out what happens here, boys. Gotta find out what happens here. Ready? Yeah. Give it the beads this time, boy. Oh. Give it the beads. <laughs> Give it the beads. Infinity fire, baby. Jab game. Okay, okay. You can get a launch. You want to do it again? Time? Again? Go for it. All right. Because top end could still, there could still be a chance, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's what could, my tuner said, like, my top end is where it's at. Yeah. Because bottom end is not as fast. Makes sense.
that, that's her bad. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh man. man. That scared me, bro. <laughs> oh. I thought this spotting is serious. I honestly haven't lost hope yet, dude. There's dude, still a chance. I have not lost hope. Like, <laughs> there's yeah. still a chance. Bro, bro that's crazy. Red Sport with just a downpipe and a tune. Not even a full downpipe. Just exactly, a lot of downpipe. dude. Imagine full exhaust and E tune. Oh, oh my god. god, god bro, that's crazy. <laughs> That'd be something else. Dude, that exhaust you put on is actually sexy. That's your dope. Oh, facts, bro. Facts. I'm trying to be a big show of that. You can't really see it. saying that the Porsche definitely did take it in the roll but off the launch he even said it was pretty impressive how the Q50 did take the launches on both of the races but for rolls this definitely has a top end that was like mind-blowing but for relatively it being stock that's quick and just in case y'all don't know it's a 911 turbo 2014 and then we have a 2020 q50 red sport 400r and then the q50 is a lower lower down pipe tune and then the turbo is just a full straight pipe with catalyst awesome like that yeah that video could have not came out any better than what it did all right we're about to put some ppf some tinted ppf on the headlights and the fog lights kind of give it some more aggression. It does look very good right now, but I feel like with some tint on it. I believe this is 35. What did Max say? 35? I think so. Yeah. It's like 35%. Which should look somewhat similar to this. I don't know. I think he did 50. Yeah, yeah, so. Just a little bit darker. And then. Another day I will do the taillights, both of them. And it should just fit in well because I plan to get that carbon spoiler for the back just to wrap it all up, like I said in the last video. But I will do a little time lapse of me doing it and get you guys the final results. But here is the before before we get started.
All right, so that is 35% PPF installed on the headlight on the left side. And this is the normal. So a little before and after. I guess it looks kind of wonky right now, but dude, that is so much more aggressive how like it's just darker and meaner compared, you know, with the tint. And then definitely will probably black out the grill. We'll probably do carbon on the grill just to kind of like go along with everything else. But I still want to keep the chrome, the chrome accents going around because it does give it that like classy look. But yeah, definitely like night and day difference. It's also protection for the headlight, so no chips. Well, she's kind of happy with the way that looks. Even without tint, it does look amazing. But yeah, that, that's going to be way more aggressive. All right, all right. I got all the PPF on for the headlight, the fog lights, and also on this side, the time-lapse video as you guys saw. So that gave me a little bit of a struggle because I did go too far up, but I still managed to make it work. Thanks to that boy Matthew. Now I'm debating whether or not I do a full chrome delete, uh, get the grill blacked out, get the side blacked out, and then since I'll have this a little bit tinted, same as the front, I'm debating I could just get a carbon trim for this, get rid of that, and then keep all my lettering chrome. Keep all that chrome and then probably keep this little door handle chrome and uh, maybe black this out. I just don't want it to be too tacky with black. But I'll definitely take some time and think about it. But other than that, main focus here is that. That looks that looks perfect. That looks really good. But it's just a little off because of the chrome. Got that boy, Matthew. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro is working after hours. Get the new GR Corolla. Got the seats, GR, manual. It's going from white to brown. It's like a matte brown. Very nice. y'all for taking time out your day to watch this video it did come out great i'm glad how the race went it is kind of exactly how i expected it to go not gonna lie like the dig i was so confident in my dig but i just wasn't confident in my roll because i did have a boost cut with the new tune we did turn up boost a little bit on the queue and i guess i just didn't like it so it cut off around 120 130 but i'm gonna flash it back to version 5 thanks to alex appreciate you for the help Thank you all for tuning in. Stay safe and have a great rest of your day.